Good morning, Pastor Rick from Evenings in LJ on this Sunday morning, it's about 7.35. Um, just want to talk to you this morning about the importance of God's Word in our daily life because it is in the Word of God that we find all the wisdom of God, the revelation of God. We find everything necessary um, for us to live a life that is honoring to Him, glorifying to Him, to live godly in this wicked generation in which we live in. Um, that's why it's so important for us to read our Bibles, study our Bibles, attend Sunday school classes, church, hear preaching, because Romans 10, 17 says, faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Um, 2 Timothy 3, verse 16 says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Now, recently in my devotion times, I ran across a verse again that really kind of struck a chord with me and reminded me of how important it is to study God's Word. If we fail to study God's Word, we will not know God because He reveals Himself in His Word. Um, we won't know the promises of God for our life. We won't know the instructions from God's Word so that we might know how to live uh, a, a godly life in a crazy world we live in. We know Second Peter 1, 3 says that he's given all things that pertain to life and godly, godliness through the knowledge of him. And how do we get to know him? Again, through his word. Um, this was sparked from Psalm 119, verse 65, that says this, Thou hast already done, dealt well with thy servants, O Lord, according to thy word. God is dealing with us well as his servants, and he's dealing with us according to his word. And so it's important for us, if we are going to be confident in God's movement in our life, God's work in our life, God's assignments for our life, um, uh, what God would have us think and be and do, we need to be in his word because he's already dealt there with us uh, well. And so it's important for us. And so I, I would encourage you to reserve a return to receiving the word of God. Um, um, we're told in James 1, 21, that we are to lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. That means super abundance of badness or wickedness. And that we are to receive with meekness, and that's humility, the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. Very important to know, right? The Word of God engrafted in our heart shows us who's the way, shows us the way, shows us how to be saved, shows us how to live for God's glory. So we need to receive it with humility, not in arrogance, not in pride, not with a stiff neck, not with an already settled mind and attitude, um, but but with meekness, with, with humility before God, knowing that we need His Word in his instruction for our life. Hebrews 4.12 says, the word of God is quick. That means it's alive and it's powerful and it's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of our heart. In other words, God word, God's word is a comprehensive source for all aspects of our life here on earth. And it is a comprehensive resource that shows us all of the promises and the provisions of God for our life. So you say, well, what about salvation? Let me read to you what Psalm 119 verse 41 says. It says this, Let thy mercies come unto us, unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation, according to thy word. He said, but I'm already saved. What about revival? Well, I, I just need a refreshing in my heart. I need a refreshing in my soul. Well, listen to what Psalm 119 verse 107 says. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me. Make me alive. Refresh me is the idea. O oh Lord, according to thy word. Verse 25 of Psalm 115. My soul cleaveth to the dust. Man, I'm bowed down. I'm lowly. I need a refreshing. Quicken me, thou, 
according to thy word. Do you need understanding in your life? Well, Psalm 119, verse 69 says this. It says, Thou art good, and thou doest good. Teach me thy statutes. Your life in a turmoil. Psalm 119, verse 6 says, Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for me a comfort according to thy word unto thy servant. You get the theme, right? You need comfort. You need peace. You need consolation in tumultuous times. Turn to God's word because he's the one who will be merciful and kind, giving comfort according to his word. Is your soul overwhelmed? Look at Psalm 119, verse 28. My soul melteth for heaviness, it says. Strengthen thou me according to thy word. You sinking into despair in your life? Psalm 119, verse uh, number 116 says this. It says, uh, Uphold me according to thy word, that I may live, and let not let me not be ashamed of my hope. Uphold me according to thy word. Are you in bondage? Well, that Psalm 119 has a word for that as well. In verse number 107 or 170, let my supplication come before thee, deliver me according to thy word. If we will allow God to engraft his word into our heart and we'll receive it with meekness, he will have sufficient provision, promises, instruction for every aspect of your life. May God bless you, and I hope to see you in church today. God bless.